So you've probably heard of Plastidip. It's this rubberized coating that comes in a can. You can get it in a bunch of different colors and you can use it to change the color of almost any part on your vehicle. It's pretty durable, it lasts for quite a long time through normal driving, but the cool part is when you're tired of it or when it gets scuffed up, you can just peel it right off and start again with a new color. It's really neat stuff. So we have these wheels from Mamba for our JL, our white JL, and we thought the black, it's a little too much. We have a lot of black armor on it, we thought maybe we could do a nice charcoal gray. So we're going to do it temporarily with this Plasti Dip, you know, see if we like it. So this is the video to show you how to Plasti Dip the wheels on your Jeep. So we're going to leave the tire on the wheel for this process, but we want to get something in here to mask this part off. So a really easy thing to do is take an index card and push it between the bead and the wheel and then mask off from there. But these nittos have a pretty big bead protector here, so it'll make it a little easier if we let the air out of the tire first. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull the valve core and just deflate this tire all the way so we can get those index cards in there. So once you have all the air out of your tires, you can take an index card or these little cardboard cards like we have and just press them between the bead and the wheel all the way around. So Plastidip really isn't going to stick to your tires, so we don't have to get much more picky than that, but we'll just lay some paper towel or whatever over the tire itself and it'll just make cleanup a lot easier blood on the bottom of this paper towel. I don't know what it was used for or who died, but whatever. I guess that's fine. All right, once it's all prepped and ready, you want to grab the Plasti Dip of your choice. We picked this really cool charcoal color, and you want to mix it up really, really well for about a minute. If you don't do this, it's going to end up blocky and gross, so don't skip this step. Not even 30 seconds yet. It takes forever. A minute so long, you gotta switch hands. Woo! All right. Uh, pro tip, they make these really great triggers you can add on that gives you a professional look to trigger control. So Plastic Dip recommends one whole can per wheel. Um, I think they said you have to spray it pretty thick so it's glossy but not so that it runs. So let's get started with this awesome charcoal colored um, shit. 